Right guys, this is Dave from Margie's Fitness Training. Um, we've just finished up our lunchtime sessions um, and I got asked a very interesting question, so I figured that it's, it's worthy of a video response. Um, I have a couple of lads training here for about a month or so now, both very keen runners. Um, coming in here now to use the kettlebells on their lunch breaks just for you know, a bit of extra strength and condition work to improve their running. Um, Smart guy came up to me and asked me a question today. They've been in about a month, so now they're in a lot more one-handed work. You know, there's, there's, you should be swinging your kettlebell one-handed. Two-handed swings is, is very much a beginner's exercise. You want to move on from that. Um, and the question was, how do you keep the spine moving as you do your swing? Um, He's obviously been doing his reading, reading about core stability, spinal stability, the whole lot. And my answer to him was, you don't. Okay? There will be rotation through that spine. Yeah? Most notably through the upper back. Okay? The rotation through the upper back. The shoulders will move. So as you swing through, you will end up in this kind of position. Yeah? See how the chest is now facing the camera where the hips are facing that way? I've rotated almost through that space, yeah? Here. Okay? So, to begin with, I'll give you, give you this view here. Okay? So, we start a two handed swing. Everything is linear. Okay? Pure linear. The hips and shoulders point forwards, hinge here at the hip. Yes? It's just a forward and back action, plain and simple. We remove an arm. Okay, so if we start here, we're moving on. Initially, we keep the same mechanics, yeah? But as the swing progresses, you expect to see people use their free arm more and more to assist that pendulum action. And as we do so, this shoulder comes further forward, and we get more of a rotation, even a mild bit of flexion in the spine, yes? Obviously, you don't just jump into that, all right? It's well known that if we flex and rotate, that's when the spine is at its most vulnerable. However, that is what happens when we move, okay? These legs are runners, so when they run, this hip, it lifts and comes forward. This shoulder, it drops and goes back, okay? I have flexed and rotated, okay? This is how they move, this is how you run, walk, it's the basis of everything we do, alright? If you train the core to be a complete, solid, rigid unit, you lose that movement, okay? You lose the articulation between the, the, the joints and the spine, and now your hips and shoulders move together. That ain't good, okay? Um, watch people walking on the street and you'll see this head bobbing, yeah? Uh, particularly the, you know, the strong guys, Mr. Sixpack, yeah? Given it all this. Yeah, they've lost all that movement. Yeah? You watch an athlete, a fighter, and you'll see their head stays still, fixed on the target. There's fluidity in the movement. Yeah? Um, gymnasts, dancers, martial artists, they have that cat like, that grace of movement. All right? um, don't let your kettlebell training train that out of you. Use it to enhance it. So when you're swinging, yeah? don't be afraid. Yeah? Don't be afraid to let that bell really go. Now I have back injuries from years ago. I started kettlebell training with back injuries. So I know exactly whether this is safe or not. Well, for me, yeah? I've uh, lumbar disc issues, SI joint misalignments, the whole lot. That they were the injuries that brought me into kettlebell training. My road through, through personal experience, teaching people, and also learning from my instructors have shown me that this is perfectly safe as long as it's approached gradually. All right? So allow rotation. Do not lose rotation. Yeah? It's a key part. If you any sort of power sport, if you want to run fast, whatever else it is you do, you've got to be able to twist and rotate that spine. The core musculature, yes, it creates stability of the spine, but it's more a case of it's not that it prevents any movement, it just 
prevents you from moving too far, yes? And it creates a powerful spring backwards, all right? Huge amount of power stored around here if you use it right, okay? The kettlebell swing will help you, all right? A couple more reps at the front so you can see. And that will even come in too when you go into your snatch. Yeah? You see shoulder forward, shoulder back, shoulder back to centre. Forward, back, centre. Yeah? Use the spine, guys. It's made to articulate. It's there for a reason. It's structured as it is for a reason. It's not a solid rod. Okay? Don't be afraid to use it. Okay? This is Dave from Augie's Fitness Training. That's answering an interesting question. I got a lunchtime today. Hope it helps you in your training. Uh, if it doesn't, please drop me an email.